Integrating sustainability into day-to-day -day operations. Companies today understand the value of integrating cultural, environmental and product enhancement in main company plans and functions. Many firms and their executives are implementing sustainability actions about impacts of climate change that impact their company operations, with enough possibilities resulting from global sources. In reality, people worldwide are increasingly likely to identify with and stay committed to the organisation that promotes viable business methods. What would it imply to integrate sustainability into the company? To react to investment opportunities for more connection, it's vital to first define what integration entails. There is no universally accepted definition or even a common understanding of how to achieve it. A volume of investigations has provided definitions for the idea of integrating, such as a force for continuous improvement, utilizing plans to ensure desired results by enhancing and revising them through the prism of sustainable development. For instance, incorporating sustainable development provisions into the selection or management of people or integrating sustainability into the supply chain management. Integrated thinking. Understanding the connection between tangible and intangible assets as its functions is an efficient way to think about an organization and how it generates its wealth. From idea to improved innovation, a technology motor is a technique to develop innovative brands incorporating environmental factors. Response to an evolving landscape. An institution's capacity to react and define new ecological and financial changes to foresee demands that may lead to a shift in the company's mission and operating activities. Modern social effect designs. Scenarios in which the line between durability and resiliency blurs with the opening of digital socially impact-driven marketing strategies. The lines between ecological, societal, Governing issues and conventional, financial value companies get muddled. Best way to include economic viability. There has been a provision of current leadership theories relating to the strategic plan in recent years, all of which strive to provide technique or advice on integration. Here are a few notable examples. The Gond Report defines eight dimensions for implementing sustainability into the company. Complete review and corporate strategy in tandem to complete review effectively through management procedures and performance in an integrated plan. The Lozano approach focuses on the sorts of sustainable initiatives that are evaluated based on their potential contributions to the elements of sustainable development. They are the financial, ecological, societal and time categories measured on a scale that includes total, part or various covering of the aspects based on the machine's application. Large firms and think tanks have also been working on developing structures to give organizations management theories to integrate sustainability concepts into their activities. The Roadmap for Integral Sustainability is a practical framework for integrating sustainability into business strategy, processes and cultures. The development plan, for example, includes several suggestions for implementing sustainability into strong company activities and some original data by each strong company function. Sustainability Embedded, a manual from the English think tank Sustainable Development, identifies key elements for convergence, including knowledge of the business framework, a concentrate on quantification issues, the participation of sustainable development in sales and service, the growth of a sustainable way of thinking and sustainability thinking, and an assessment on those levels of business culture that are important. The Alliance for Corporate Sustainability's Executive Guidance Business Practices for Outcome Result examines three potential operational practices that could aid firms in implementing sustainability into their company from a common value perspective. 1. The Hourglass Model can assist firms in assessing and evaluating their value generation models in a comprehensive and integrated manner. 2. The Sustainability Strategy Roadmap lays out the procedures for aligning company strategy with shared value. 3. The Company's Design, which assists businesses in developing a new company structure based on common benefits. 
All systems have a different scope and strategy, and deciding which one or others to use and how to get started might be difficult. After all, many businesses are only beginning to think about sustainability, let alone incorporating it into its lengthy judicial process. Moreover, sustainability managers who are tasked with navigating transformation do not always directly say how the company plan is developed. How to proceed from here A number of shareholders now consider sustainable issues alongside other economic and business aspects in their judgment. With all this in view, shareholders can assume that if one of many such concepts, theories or roadmaps is used, firms have done their job to recognize process variables that may have an impact on business, problems that may be important now and for the near future for the business, particular consequences for the company's threat and opportunities, the panels and official ambitions in reaction to the surrounding environment as well as the recognized value drivers. The complexity of the above research can have just as big of an impact on a company's capacity to achieving as the integration model chosen. So, if you're creating your first strategic plan or looking to improve the integration of an existing one before settling on a model developed, it's a good idea to begin or revise strategic analysis by studying global phenomenon and taking into account important market influences on two parameters, customer significance, commercial effects, and the urgency of the element to the organization. Risk key stakeholders to sincerely comprehend what makes a difference to your parties involved regarding your corporation, industry, and the markets wherein you function. Try comparing your corporation with your contest, your providers, and your clients to four. Compare and contrast your company's initiatives and techniques with those of your rivals, suppliers, and customers. Incorporate scenario designs into your marketplace risk assessment procedures that draw on global collections of data, legislation and industry experience to generate various options for a future state perspective of dangers and possibilities. Work with your management board and leadership team to grasp the company's goals for dealing with the situations, customers and risks mentioned above. Companies will be stronger to promote a method for assimilation that meets their needs, offers a framework for a strategic activity plan, and endorses the entire integration process, if most of this is completed as a structured timeline. It can also assist organizations in presenting a more detailed plan that describes to shareholders why combining suggested sustainability plans will distinguish them today and in the future. Establish a strong, lengthy, sustainable aim. The sustainable supply chain is a goal that may be reached if businesses think properly and incorporate sustainable practices into their strategic goals. When developing a protracted plan, you should examine the four primary elements. Among these are eco-sustainable initiatives, management structures, advertising strategies, and development direction to name a few. Then, to oversee the corporation's sustainability activities, you should hire a sustainable leader with the appropriate credentials, competencies, and expertise. Involve your co-workers. You could do everything you could as a firm to ensure that your external costs are driven inside your processes. Still, you can only make significant progress if you align with your vendors, wholesalers, and other supply chain partners. The key to sustainable development across your company or business process is close cooperation. This cooperation will almost certainly assist you and your sector colleagues, as well as environmentalists, in mitigating the negative effects of your activities and may be developing new production processes to do so. Clients should be educated about the importance of sustainability. You can only go so far with your consumer's help. Embedding technology into your company will be tough if people are reluctant to buy things regarded as ecologically sound or fair trade. It would help if you educated clients about sustainability on a state scale to make choices based on sustainable living and ethical purchasing. Most customers buy things based on price or features rather than whether they are made of recyclable materials or packaged in reusable containers. Ensure that your institution's strategic objectives are well communicated. It would help if you established a plan for conveying your corporation's strategic plan to all personnel. Everybody in the organization, regardless of their role, must understand and embrace sustainable business. 
Integrating sustainability into business has proven problematic because, in many firms, sustainable and corporate responsibility implementations are handled by a single individual or department. As you'll see, these ideas are rather different. Although some have used them effectively, they do not always connect with the judgment engaged in business strategy creation. Given the growing relevance of cantilever structure in many firms, they should understand legitimate uses and how it can improve organizational performance. Embedding technology into planning is more vital than ever before to future-proof a firm. Companies all across the globe recognize that to do so, they must plan for and manage the potential implications of global sustainability, factors that have the potential to radically alter how they function in the future years.